it's Patoon Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo. And, uh, yeah, we've, I've done some things. We, you know, we need to get, uh, I think, what is it, 300 and some, 350 guests. So, um, I tried to make some changes here. Um, I added the staff buildings and stuff over here. And that way we have this other area open for uh, exhibits and stuff. Oh, I forgot to move this. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it and see what fun we can have today. Hopefully get one or two uh, more habitats going on. Uh, we'll just put this guy over here. Maybe. Sometimes that rotation thing is just a little crazy. But... Um, I did go ahead. I had to change some soil uh, here, uh, some terrain here, uh, to make these guys happier. And I went ahead and got them a uh, large ball and also some heaters because they did not like it when it snowed and there was, like, snow everywhere. So I added heaters. Um, I don't know if that's something that we needed to do, but um when it starts snowing they definitely do not like it i kept getting all kinds of all kinds of messages with that so what i wanted to try to do is make this area over here like a walkthrough exhibit although since the staff buildings are here i'm not sure how close we can get let's see if we look at negative impact on guests okay so that doesn't go too far so, yeah, we'll do that. I kind of want to do pee fouls. Um, let's get a male. And a couple of females. For now, that's all we're going to do. We're not going to go crazy on it. But let's get those in the quarantine building. So, I wanted to try to build something up over the buildings, over the staff buildings, but I'm not going to deal with that just yet. Um, we'll see if we have some time. I don't want to, I don't want this challenge to go on too long, so we're just going to see what we can do. Alright, so we moved those guys to quarantine. Um, let me actually fix this a little bit. Okay. So, let's go to our Zoopedia real quick, um, and let's go down, because I want to see if we can put these in with anything else. That's not what I wanted to do. I keep trying to scroll, but I keep clicking the left mouse button instead. Uh, inspector arriving in 23 months. Okay. Uh, I think it's, what, Indian peafowl, right? Oh my goodness, stop doing that. I need to see if I can change this key for... Instead of having to scroll, you can just like push the up and down arrow or something like that. I don't know. Alright, so can we get any... No, we can't. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. So, they want 312 meters, uh, no water, grade 1, 3.3 feet. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, I usually just stick with a... Um, um, a hedge, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's go to barriers. Um, is that research complete? Uh, what did I... Okay, crocodiles. Alright. So, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, I don't know if I really want to do hedges. Let's... And in, like... Uh, more of a creative series. I would probably go with, try to go with anyways, uh, null fencing and then like make my own, uh, make my own fences, but I'm not going to worry about that here. Let's see. Um, we'll just bring this around like that. Actually, we'll probably have to move this a little bit, but I want to give these guys as much room as possible. Serious injury discovered. Vet called. Oh, no. So one of the peafowls has an injury. All right. That's why we take him to quarantine, right? So, like I said, I may have to change up the edge because we'll have to... Uh, nope, nope. Stop it. Because we'll have to get two of the guest fencing in. Okay. Can I, can I please take that out? Thank you. 
Uh, that, there we go. <laughs> that looked weird. All right, so the guests will come, we'll make a path over here. And so let's, nope, that is not what I wanted to do. All right, let's get rid of that. I'm gonna accidentally get rid of the crocodile one. Um, let's go ahead and get a wooden, no, uh, guest gate, there we go. All right, we don't want to put a guest gate in the crocodiles. Not be a good idea. Can we put this in it? No, we can't. Well, we'll put it right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it on the other side as well. If I can move. All right. So this will be kind of a pass-through exhibit. So the guests will be able to make it from one side of the zoo to the other. I think that's a good idea. Pretty sure. Okay, stop doing that. Okay, stop it. All right. Get rid of that. Okay. So let's see about getting the paths in here. And let me know what you guys would like to see as far as, um, you know, do you want to see more of the sped up, you know, building? Or do you like to see all this stuff going on? Uh, for me, I kind of like to see everything. Why is that? Okay, why can't I uh, do anything with this one? <laughs> Obstructed by water volume. Of course. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead, uh, double click on the barrier. And let's just select these two. And we'll move it up here. Obviously, we're going to have to move some of the trees. Nope, that's not. I'm trying to move the tree, but. Okay. So, let's go to paths and let's see. Okay, now I think we can do it. Oh, what? Oh. I had my hand resting on control. I was like, what's going on? Oh my goodness, that is super annoying. Alright, so. Hmm. Can we go up? No, we cannot. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're back. So I think we've got it all good. I don't, I'm not sure what happened to the habitat gate or the fence over here. That's weird. Uh, but we finally got the path in. This looks a little weird right here, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So let's get these guys in. Uh, we'll go ahead. Like I said, I don't know what happened to this barrier. Uh, why is it? Huh. Let's see. Wooden? Okay. I don't know. Alright, so there we go. And we don't necessarily have to have this so tall. The thing is, this doesn't get very uh, short, which is kind of a bummer. But it's fine. Go down as far as we can. Because these guys... Or do they need a bigger? Actually, let, let, we'll just make it bigger. Okay. That's fine. The guests are going to come in here anyways. And uh, they're not going to have to worry about having to look through the uh, the habitat fence. So, that's fine. So, let's go ahead and get out of this. And we'll go ahead and play. And let's see what all these messages are. Oh, so we have... Um, some, uh, VIP guests. Oh, wow. That is, uh, crazy. All right. <laughs> the, um, the, like, change between one, uh, one time a day and another. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy. So I guess, I'm not sure what the VIP guests do. For this, I know in the franchise mode, you can click on them and say hi, and that'll actually get you conservation credits. But I'm not sure what they do now. So, quarantine pass, quarantine pass, okay. And then what do we have here? Uh, many guests think ticket prices are, uh, tickets are overpriced. Really? Um, I don't know. Let's just deal with it for now. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and click on the quarantine building. And we'll go ahead and get these guys in so we can see what they need. Move them over to here. Oh, we forgot to put a habitat gate in. Oops. I mean, a, uh, you know, the staff gate. That's what I meant. Okay. Let's see. Because I want it to come from over here um, at this staff path. So let's go ahead. Um, I guess we want to do the barrier first let's see wooden habitat gate we'll put that please let me put it over here um all right okay let's uh get rid of that all right this is really annoying i don't know why it has to be so complicated we'll move it in a little bit and that should let us put this in. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we just have to make sure we can put the path in. So, let's do that. Staff path. Um, everything is down as low as it'll go. Obstructed by water volume. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's see. I mean, I know these guys don't need a huge amount of space. So... I mean, that's good, because by the end, I don't think they're going to have a huge amount of space. So, nope, that's not what I want to do. Let's go ahead and move this guy. There we go. And, um, I guess... Uh, where's the move? I don't like that the buttons overlap sometimes. It's super annoying. Okay. Let's see if that works. So we'll go back to paths. There we go. Awesome. All right. Now let's see where we can put this to connect to here. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay. So we got that going. And let's go ahead and click on the research. That will get to crocodile. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, I was like, why isn't the pea fowl showing up? Because I need to put them back. I need to put them in here. Okay. We'll just go ahead and click all and move. Move. Okay. So, let's see. They probably don't like any of the soil, uh, the terrain. And they probably don't like the trees either. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick. All right. So, we'll do the terrain. We need short grass. And I'm definitely going to put short grass along the paths. Just because, you know, that makes it a little easier to see where you're going. And see the animals. And they like a lot, so I'm not really worried about it. Because, as you can see, we they still think there's too much long grass, so... And I don't necessarily like the look of long grass in the game. I mean, if it was like medium grass, you know, medium sized grass, that'd be great. All right. Almost too much um, short grass, but it's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and put a little bit more. All right. So let's look at their environment. So, yeah, they don't like. Let's see. Let's zoom out a little bit. They don't like these. I wish you could just click it and hit delete. That would be awesome. Because if you have to go out and uh, delete, then you have to go back to uh, one of the animals. So let's go ahead. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Instead of deleting it, I'm just going to move it. Just so we can keep that in in case we can use it somewhere else. And then, uh, then we don't have to pay for it somewhere else. Because it's already here. Um, let's see. What else do you guys not like? They probably don't like all the flowers, I'm guessing. Let me, let me click on you. There we go. Alright, environment. So, they don't like those. They don't... Yeah, they don't like any of this, I don't think. Uh, is there another one? Okay. So, uh, it looks like they don't mind the pink flowers. So, which I like. 
you know, I'll keep the, wait, 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 that one. Oh, yeah, they like the pink flowers. Okay, so let's just go ahead and hit I for multi-select, and we'll go ahead and is it, I think it's control. No, it's not. All right, let's click on that. Shift, okay. So as far as I know, if it's in the same group, you can select it by hitting shift, but if it's not, you have to um, hit control, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and put it over here because we need some trees over here by the guest stuff. So we'll just go ahead and kind of sink them down into the ground. There we go. All right. Oh, sorry. Click down on the window. All right. So there we go. Um, these look a little weird, just kind of bunched up here. That is just on the edge of okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys taken care of as far as habitat stuff, like bedding and food and all that fun stuff. That'll be good. Let's see. What do we got here? I think. Oh, gosh. I wish that would go away. As I'm trying to get more animals in because that way, hopefully, they'll be okay with spending more to get in the zoo. So, let's see. Click on that guy. And let's go ahead and make sure. Uh, let's go ahead and play. Uh, play. And see, oh, we need enrichment. So let's go ahead and go to our vet research. And we'll go ahead and have him. Oh, he already was. Oops. Okay. So we could hire a, a, a vet, but I don't think we're going to do that. I am going to hire a security guard just so we can get that notification to go away. And we'll put him over here. All right, and I did add some uh, benches and trash cans and stuff like that around as well. So let's go ahead and I uh, forgot to have the keeper come in here. We may need to hire another keeper. Uh, call keeper to habitat. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, oh, this, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, let's, uh. <laughs> that's not gonna work and we can't modify the terrain so we're just gonna have to do this I was thinking that area was too low I didn't even that I didn't do anything with it okay let's go ahead and bring that up we don't want these animals escaping and like I said it's you know the guests come in so they don't really have to worry about that but I like how the guests can be in this exhibit but yet, when the pee fowl uh, leave, they're considered dangerous animals. I'm like, well, if that's if they're that dangerous, that's not what I wanted to do. Then, um, you know, how 
how do you let guests get in the exhibit uh, in the habitat I don't know okay let's go ahead and do that that I wonder if that's gonna keep that one in um what is okay is the other okay let's see I made that taller did they wait escape find it okay all right we'll find it uh call that <laughs> see the the guests are fine with it you know they don't care <laughs> oh man i don't know it's crazy all right so wow these people really like to sound right here don't they oh let's go ahead and get some donation boxes um donation boxes Oh, there, there. Diseased animal discovered vet. Okay. Man, our bison are not good. Uh, don't know where we're going to be able to put these. Can we put... There we go. Put one right there. Uh, put one over here. We want to put as many... I, I'm guessing they're okay being in the exhibit, right? Uh, in the habitat. I keep saying exhibit. Put it uh, at the beginning and at the end. And then also, I think I'll have one going out. Uh, oh, nope. Stop it. <laughs> Only want one. Alright. Hopefully, did that work? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a good one. Um, oh, and... Oh, there we go. Yay! Wow. Bronze. Looks like we already have a zoo, don't we? <laughs> we do. <laughs> that was fast. You're doing me proud, you know. I'll be honest. When I first pictured entrusting someone else to build a zoo, I always imagined it'd be my child doing it. I, I guess it wasn't to be, huh? Unless... I don't suppose you're open to being adopted, are you? <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. Oh, oh I almost forgot. Now you've completed your first lot of jobs, or bronze objectives, as Nancy likes to say. Oops. You oh. can, if you wish, move on to the next room. No. Obviously, I prefer that you stayed on here and took care of the rest of those objectives. But I can That's certainly understand doing. the desire to keep moving onwards and upwards. Onwards just like an upwards. escalator. Or a, a downwards escalator, which is going the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Bernie, you're crazy. All right, let's see. Uh, we got Indian peafowl here. And let's go ahead and get a speaker. I don't know if the peafowl are going to like these in the exhibit. It's the only thing. I'm not exactly sure about that. Uh, I thought I had that, like, in the ground. And again, it's H. Uh, hit hit H twice to hide the um, the uh, the heat map. Uh, turn it off. I mean, because that is definitely annoying when you're trying to place these things. And speaking of annoying, these guys are super loud. Super loud. All right. I think what I'll do is get another one. Um, I wanted this. That's what, <laughs> that's what I wanted. All right. So, we'll go ahead and place one of these on the uh, right in here as you get in. And make this a peafowl. There we go. All right. Uh, what just... Oh, quarantine passed. Okay. Uh, power source failing. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, call mechanic. Let's see. What do we have? Do we have, like, two mechanics or... Close. Close. All right. No, we need another mechanic. There we go. And I want to get another keeper as well. Come on. There we go. So if you're not on the path just right, you can't place them. <laughs> it's a little annoying. All right. And then we've got a security guard. We've got 
Uh, actually, oh, that's caretakers. Let's go ahead and hire another caretaker. There we go. Okay. So now I want to go ahead. I think we're good with the pea fowls. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be where we're going to end this one. So next time we will put in the bison and let's check. Oh, I wanted to go ahead and click on that. Call keeper. Okay. I want to go ahead and uh, look at that. Okay. Look at this. So we got bronze. Uh, we need seven habitat uh, species in the zoo and we have three. And we need at least four exhibit species in the zoo. Okay. And then the next thing for gold... Uh, have at least 10 habitat species, six exhibit species, and earn a yearly profit of 10,000. Okay. So I'm not sure how long this is going to go for. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you want me to uh, keep it short or keep going, I would really like to get all uh, medals for, for everything. So let me know what you guys think about that. Because, like I said, it might take longer. Uh, you guys know my... You know, I don't play... Uh, super fast and um, you know like let's do as much as we can as fast as we can I don't do that so let me know what you guys think but I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode if you have definitely hit that thumbs up also if you're new to my channel or haven't already go and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out and if you want to play this game definitely check it out in the um description below there's a link for their uh their website and there's also a link for the steam uh, store page so you can go buy that buy it there be super cool and uh yeah I, I like the way this turned out i do uh without being able to change the uh terrain that's kind of like you know you get what you get kind of thing but but yeah, so if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, definitely leave those down below in the comment section. I love seeing those, and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. And uh, see, these guys are so loud. Um, but yeah, so um, I think that's it. I, I think so. So until next time, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you then. Bye, guys. <laughs>